Will Stranger Things be coming to HHN 32? Don't tell my boss. Master has given Dobby a glove. It's time for another Halloween Horror Nights 2023 update. Uh, we gotta start the day off first here at Disney Springs. We gotta go see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. There's a new little thing we gotta eat at uh, Polite Pig. It's like a new sandwich I really wanna try. Then we're gonna head off to Universal Studios, do a bunch of different park updates, get a whole boatload of new HHN updates. All right, now you guys have all been messaging me about these, all these rumors about the Stranger Things house. We're gonna talk about that again in a little bit, but first, the Polite Pig. Now the Polite Pig is going to be located right over by the Lime Garage. Ugh, the Lime Garage. Team Orange for life. Okay, so this is like the chef special uh, of the month. It's going to be the Coconut Jerk Pork Sandwich. Coconut Jerk Pork pineapple slaw on a Hawaiian roll accompanied by Hawaiian macaroni salad. Macaroni salad is up there with things that I just hate that are food. Uh, you can't switch it out. You're stuck with it. Uh, this was a $20 sandwich. Is this worth $20? Oh, wow. I didn't think it was going to be amazing. Uh, it was amazing. That is some of the best pork I've ever had in my entire life. It is worth $20 for a sandwich. Even the potato salad was good. The pork is so good, you don't even want to put barbecue sauce on it. You don't want to cover up the flavors of the tenderness in that pork. Amazing. 10 out of 10 on this pork sandwich. It's a must. It's a limited time I'm offering, so come here to Play Pig. Try this. I promise you will not be disappointed. Have a good day, everyone. They have all the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 posters up. I will see you guys afterwards with my review. We finished the movie. We're at Universal right now, uh, but um, wow, that was a, an emotional roller coaster. It was a rough watch. Rocket's backstory, pretty depressing. The CGI is so good that you truly care and feel as if Rocket is real, right? And the acting is so good with Bradley Cooper's voice. And it's just, it's a gut-wrenching story of Rocket's backstory. Uh, the movie's not perfect. The song choices just felt very in your face and didn't blend very well like how the first two films were. I think I'm gonna give the movie like a 7.5. The villain was great. You truly despise him so much. That actor, when I was at Comic I was like in the bathroom and I was like, oh hey, I just saw you today in the panel. Good job. So like we went to the bathroom together, which is kind of straight. Sorry, that's a little offshoot. Uh, but 7.5 on the film. It's not perfect, but it's a decent watch and one of the best Marvel films in a while. Marvel struggling. I don't know what the future holds, but <laughs> it's not looking bright. So we're at Universal Studios now. And for all the HHN updates and all the theme park updates, they've added some new promotional cars here. At the movie theater here. So as you know, Fast and the Furious X is coming out May 19th. They have a Dodge Charger Hellcat here. Now, there's so much horsepower in this vehicle right here. But I don't think these are screen used. These just might be promotional cars that they just travel around with. Every Fast and Furious film, they always have, you know, Fast and Furious cars pop up within the Universal Studios. So you got little license plate, Fast X. Over here, we have Dom's Charger. License plate says Fast X on it. You can see the NOS canister in there. Oh, these cars are beautiful. The one car I'm really excited to see in the film, they're gonna have the new DeLorean. Yeah, we popped into the City Walk store before we headed to Universal Studios. Bowser, King of the Koopa, $30. Simple gray shirt. We get another new shirt here, Mushroom Kingdom. Here we come, Super Mario Bros. movie, $30. Now the movie just passed $1.1 billion at the box office. $25, they have another Mario shirt. Our big adventure begins now. Over here, then they have a Luigi one, $25. You just got Luigi'd. Okay. So we showed off the new Pride merch in the last video, but it looks like 100% of the profits from the Love is Universal merchandise will be donated to local organizations, including Zebra Youth, for their efforts to support and engage the local LGBTQ plus community. Looks like they have a bunch of new, brand new big pink donut merchandise that says, mmm, donut. $33 for the shirt. Then over here, for $22, they have a big pink kind of little mini purse, little coin purse, mmm, donut. Then for $45, they have a mini little wallet. The Simpsons gang kind of looks like sprinkles. And then for $65, not a lounge fly, but it's kind of like a lounge fly size. Kind of the Simpsons with a little strap, but they look like sprinkles. Then for $55, they have a new fuzzy little sweater. I love donuts. For $30, they have this amazing big pink donut bucket hat. It is reversible, so if you don't want to see the donut, it gets to be turned into a pink bucket hat. For $18, they have some big pink scrunchies. And for $17, they have some new big pink donut socks. For $11, they have big pink donut magnets for your fridge. All right, well, before we head into Universal Studios, we'll start with our first little Halloween Horror Nights update. We're gonna do updates throughout the entire video. So the first one is, I found out about this information a couple of months ago, but I was kind of keeping it secret. Didn't want it to really leak, because it's it's really cool. Um, But I guess somehow team members found out. The house on the speculation map, it kind of has a dragon on it, right? So people kind of wondering, what does the dragon mean? From what I was told is that it's gonna have ties to the original, right, dueling dragon. It used to be at Islands of Adventure. It's apparently gonna connect with that story and gonna be an original house. Let's head into Universal now. <laughs> Sitting on the vehicle. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> no one's supposed to sit on the taxi but me. So you spend a lot of time listening to music when you're driving people around. Oh, yes, yes. 
what is your go-to dance move? I think it's spin around. I like a good spin around. You know, I call it the 360, because you know, it's something you have to do whenever you're driving in the taxi. A twister, you like doing the twister. The twister. There you go, yeah, pulling yeah. it back to Universal. That, that sounds good to me. Over at Mel's Diner, uh, as of yesterday, they have a brand new kind of a dance party. I just love that Universal's going so hard with character performers, that is what Disney has been lacking on, because the character performers keep everything fresh, you never know what you're gonna see or run into, and that was one of my favorite things about Disney, right? That's why I love Disneyland so much, because it's so heavy on the performers. Over at Islands, they have like the citizens, pretty much, of Islands of Adventure, and that's what we used to have at Hollywood Studios, you know, with like citizens of Hollywood. But uh, Universal realized that people love that stuff and they're investing in all the performers here at Universal Studios. So I'm excited to see this, this new little show. <laughs> That was so much fun. I was smiling the entire time. So it starts out kind of like, you know, old 50s, then it turns into like hip hop, and then it turns into like a crowd audience participation of like dancing, and every single kid was having a blast. It fit in with the theming, but it was also modern and fun. Let's just take a second to appreciate uh, Ohana Means Family with Dominic Toretto, and then over here, Master has given Dobby a Glock. We're gonna go ride Men in Black Alien Attack. I'll show you my favorite little Easter eggs in here. Steven Spielberg is in this ride. He must go home, and only you can help him. Ah, you too. Okay, now you'll never not be able to see Steven Spielberg when you're riding on Men in Black. Uh, but they've been refurbing all the animatronics. Animatronics are looking great. Everything was working. There was animatronics moving that I had not seen move in a very, very long time. So uh, I'm happy the ride has been getting some love. Since we're in Hollywood right now, you know what? Uh, we have a field reporter. Field reporter here for the family. Melissa, thank you so much for all the construction updates in Universal Studios Hollywood for HHN updates over there. So uh, let's cut to that footage.
just made it to Islands. There's a bunch of brand new spooky merchandise in the All Hallows Eve boutique over here at Islands. Welcome to the All Hallows Eve boutique. <laughs> okay, now you remember this shirt. These used to be $35 a piece. This is a classic one, but they have the whole cast now of all the monsters in these styled shirts. Now, I believe they're $35 a piece, but I like this one, right? You got the mummy in 3D. He's dipping some beetles in a cup. Two-day rental. It comes to life. The mummy. I know my favorite universal monster is a creature from Blue. This one is great. He's chowing down on a hot dog. Got a ketchup bottle with him down here. It says, A Night of Horrors. Tickets now on sale at box office. Creature from the Black Lagoon. They have another one here. 3D Horrors. The Bride of Frankenstein. Creature from the Black Lagoon's hand is popping out of the popcorn bucket. Prepare to be shocked. Now showing Bride of Frankenstein. It's a great shirt. I think a slightly different design than the Wolfman. And he's got the 3D glasses. Here at last. New. True. Tear. 3D. Horror Vision. And then down here. This full moon night. Prepare for a howling movie experience rated R. Now showing the Wolfman. And he's like he's chowing down on some notches with some eyeballs in it. Here's another vintage creepy Halloween one. Look at this. Get the skeleton climbing over the fence. And you have a little witch and a little Dracula. Really cool design on that shirt. And this is one from last year, but they got a restock. We have the bride. It's like a cartoon version of her. She's putting on her makeup. They've made the card ones before for Halloween, but they have a new one for the king. If you turn it upside down, and there's like an actual guy with a knife. It's another shirt of the Universal Monsters. The Creepers Scream Team scares again. We got the bride back there, Frankenstein's monster the Wolfman, the mummy, and then creature, he's like flying. He's got like ooze on him. Also in this terrifying issue, the count. So I love that old vintage like comic book cover. Black hoodie right here, it says brewing something wicked. And you have this like jack-o'-lantern coffee cup, but this really cool design is on the back. It says only the dead need sleep. And like a zombie mummy hand, the coffee spilling out up with the eyeball. And there's another shirt here. It says Halloween is eternal. It's like an angel looking over this house. One more shirt. It's like a bright blue shirt. It's kind of like what the bride and like her friend who's dressed like a vampire looks like. Chilling out on the beach. Right, so our next little bit of a HHN update. It's about John Murdy. You don't know who John Murdy is. He's like the head guy in charge of HHN Hollywood. So they finally announced he's gonna be coming to the Midsummer Convention in California. I'll be going to that this year to cover it all for you guys for that HHN panel. Uh, but so they finally announced that he's gonna be doing a panel there. And then he also tweeted this out. He said, a crap ton of good guy dolls arrived today. They were supposed to be shipped to our offsite facility but ended up arriving at the theme park. Would have loved to have been there when they received the order. Imagine their horror when they opened the boxes. So it sounds like they got huge shipments of the good guy dolls right for the Chucky haunted house that's going to be at Universal Orlando and also Universal Hollywood for an HHN house. Right here in this spot at Universal. History was made. What happened here Allison? This was the exact spot that I got the email that I got into the master's program with UCF. She just got into grad school. Woo! And then what just happened? Yesterday, I walked across stage, insert here. We were entering into the big arena, and they're all walking in. That's her, right there. Let's hope. Oh yeah, there she is. Allison Sydney Walken. There's my girl, she's got a master's. Got it. Woo! All right, what, what's your acceptance speech? Not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> I got my diploma. I wore this necklace during my graduation. Therefore, I will do my happy dance. Okay, we also got an update about being a scare actor. So now it's kind of open to the public now. Before it was just team members, now you guys, anybody, you can apply. Universal Orlando Resort is accepting submissions for the following opportunities for Halloween Horror Nights. Characters, stilt walkers, and puppeteers. Submissions will be turned in by May 31st, 2023. Okay, we're gonna head off to City Walk, we're gonna go have dinner, and then we've got more little updates coming. Uh, we're here at Cowfish. Sushi, burgers, and bar. We have this fish tank in here. It's a uh, sushi burger, and you have some little fish. And when you're going up the stairwell, I love this artwork. My favorite is honestly the Elvis here. And you have a gator. And they put some little University Easter eggs in here. They have Peter Jackson's King Kong T-Rex, and then King Kong right there. We got the Ruby Panther. It's gonna be a Deep Eddy Ruby Vodka, simple syrup, lime juice, pink lemonade, and raspberry. Oh, that's nice. It's like a nice pink lemonade. Then you get a little kick of that sweet and sour raspberry in there. And there's a hint of lime with a the lemon. Then you do taste the vodka. In there. And then we also got the spicy Tagarashi shrimp, flash fried shrimp tossed in a spicy Japanese chili sauce over Asian slaw, pounded ginger sauce. All right, let's try the shrimp. Oh man, that's got, yeah, that's got a kick. 
but wonderful. The shrimp were the star of the show, 9.5. They were nice and hot, but not too hot where you're like, your tongue is on fire, but that like little punch of heatness that you want in your mouth. Nice, beautiful um, crunchiness to it, nice meaty shrimp. So we got the blackened tuna nachos, crispy wonton chips topped with crab rangoon dip, avocado salsa, tomatoes with seared blackened yellowfin tuna. Comes on like a little wonton chip, right? The nachos were great as always. We're gonna do like an 8.5 on the nachos. I got the Texas Longhorn Burger. It's gonna be, it's gonna have cheddar cheese, onion strings, jalapeno bacon with a tangy barbecue sauce, lettuce, tomato on a brioche bun with a side of french fries. They always got big hefty burgers here. Oh, the jalapeno bacon. Solid burger. The star of the show, right, was the jalapeno bacon. Nice, spicy little bit of zest to that bacon. I do like an 8 out of 10 on the burger. Always a great time here. Service is always great. You get an annual pass holder discount with your meal. The bathroom signs here always make me chuckle. Okay, guys, we're back at the office. Before we talk about the Stranger Things rumor, we're going to talk about this right now. So let's uh, play a little clip that Universal released on their Twitter page. You guys are probably all confused on uh, what did it translate to on the bottom? I didn't know. Uh, thank God for Twitter. HHN365 said that Star Kid Powers was able to translate it, and it says the correct translation for the symbols is probably my harvest is inescapable. Now that's very confusing. Harvest, you're thinking maybe the pumpkin lord. We just had the pumpkin lord as an icon. He's probably not coming back. So then under the translation tweet, at Freaks HHN, which I think is a very good clue and kind of, we're all gonna bring it together, right? So they were saying, so the word harvest has been used in the HHN, you know, lore and houses for the Good Harvest Orphanage. Now the Good Harvest Orphanage was the setting for the orphanage, Ashes to Ashes, which was located in Cary, Ohio. As we know, Cary, Ohio was like the, pretty much the worst terror fine town in the entire world for like HHN bad things happening. Now that house is from HHN 2010, right? The year of fear, but it was supposed to be the year of Cindy, right? The caretaker's daughter. The story of the house is that Cindy burned down her orphanage. The rumor mill with Cindy coming back started way back with Universal kind of released that same cryptic symbols with this saying, right? Welcome to my new playground. Now we were all thinking Cindy was going to be the HHN icon for this year or is going to be the caretaker. This is kind of giving us more hope with like more clues, right, with Harvest, the Harvest Orphanage, then we connected to the Orphanage House from 2010, which was Cindy's house, right, so she was a scrapped icon that year, Fear was the icon in 2010, I think this could be like her year, I think that's what we're hoping for, but then that rumor kind of doesn't mix with that last cryptic video they released, because that just kind of connects to Jack, and there's also another kind of HHN icon kind of connects you, there's another rumor mill, we'll be talking about that connection probably in an upcoming video, but right now, I still think the Cindy could be the HHN icon of this year, which I'm pretty excited about. In other news, Spooky Empire just tweeted out, the women of Halloween Horror Nights join us for a panel May 19th at 6 p.m. Be sure to get there early. Last year was standing room only. So Spooky Empire is a kind of a horror convention that happens in Orlando a couple times a year. So there's gonna be an HHN panel. And then in other spooky news, the tickets just went on sale for SeaWorld Hollow Scream. They're on sale right now for $37. All right, so now uh, let's talk about the big rumor, right? Will Stranger Things be coming to HHN 32? I'm still saying no. I have heard some things where it might be coming, but it just doesn't line up with the time frame of everything and what's kind of happened. So I know people are really wanting this to happen. There's a lot of rumors saying that it is going to happen. Last year there was the rumor of kind of the Stranger Things house happening. Now from what I was hearing last year was um, in all HHN houses within Orlando now there's no longer allowed like prop guns. I believe they're still allowed in Hollywood, so that's why Loomis had a gun in the Halloween house last year in Hollywood, but in our house in Orlando, it was actually really cool what they did. They um, had like a McFarlane action figure of Loomis, you know, with his little plastic gun, and they just shot a light on it, so it just made the silhouette on the wall, and they just did a sound clip. So there wasn't an actual character there with a prop gun, it was just an action figure that they just shined a light on, which is great. You know, Stranger Things has a lot of like, you know, guns in it, so they couldn't really do that with the house. Then I was also hearing that Netflix was asking too much for royalty to have Stranger Things at HHN. Last year, you know, there were royalty problems with The weekend, right? That's why we only got one shirt with The weekend's face on it. He wasn't allowed on any other merchandise because he wanted too much money for his likeness for royalties on merchandise. So then back to the Stranger Things. 
stuff, right? Now we're in this weird time frame where like, the reason companies kind of promote their different shows and movies at HHN is it's a promotion for people to watch it. When a film or series has come out that year, they want to promote it at HHN. Uh, we're in this lull period, right, of Stranger Things. Production is paused on season five, the final season. I can see the Stranger Things house happening after all the seasons have ended and that HHN to get everybody to kind of like rewatch everything. That's why I don't think Stranger Things is coming to HHN this year. Again, we still only have one official announcement. That's the Chucky House. We should be getting an announcement probably in the next week or two of a big, you know, IP coming to HHN 32. But again, we only got one officially announced. So everything else, you know, it's all rumors and speculation. We're all just trying to figure it out together. But that, you know, that's the fun of it, right? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you have not already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. I love, I love the, the family. family. Because I'm gonna keep you up to date all things Halloween Horror Nights and Universal Studios around the country. I love you all, and I'll see y'all very soon. Don't tell my boss. Now, Chewie really wanted a big HHN update for today.